She took a simple test and unlocked a 40-year mystery. I thought, oh, if there's other people out there, sure, I want to know. Not thinking that anything like this would ever happen. Since 1980, remains held by the Clark County Sheriff's Office were only known as the Fly Creek Jane Doe. Only recently we learned her name was Sandy Morden. She was just 17. In tonight's Coin Six Unsolved, her family speaks for the first time to our Dan Tilken to track the painful mystery of her murder. Um, that's Uncle Andy and Sandy. Leslie Brophy only has a handful of pictures of her younger cousin Sandy and her uncle Andy, mostly from Thanksgiving 1974. Yeah, this is probably the oldest photo we have of her as far as her age. This picture gives perhaps the best idea what Sandy looked like before she disappeared sometime after May of 1977. And he came down, he, he still lived in a fifth wheel like forever. Leslie also has a picture showing the trailer Sandy and her father lived in near Amboy. And she remembers Andy would be gone for two weeks at a time working on tugboats. And Sandy often stayed alone, except for a constant companion, her dog. It was a St. Bernard mix. Dog's name was Barfy. So your uncle comes home, Sandy's missing, but the dog is still there. Inside the RV and has destroyed it. Trying to get out. Trying to get out. So maybe the dog thought Sandy was in danger. Maybe, yeah, I, or just desperate to get out. Leslie says her uncle hired a private investigator, but Sandy had vanished. Her parents had separated and the family assumed that Sandy went off to live with her mother, Irene, who had a checkered past. Not mom material at all. Three years after Sandy disappeared in February of 1980, two men found a body not far from where I'm standing. Below me is Canyon Creek. They were over there on Fly Creek panning for gold. They stumbled across the remains at this end of the bridge in a turnout right alongside the road. And the person had been there a long time. You can see the area is very remote, 20 miles south of Mount St. Helens. And in this Columbian article, shortly after the body was discovered, detectives talk about her extensive dental work, hoping it would ring a bell with someone. And through the years, detectives tried releasing composite sketches, hoping someone would identify her. But no one linked the case of the girl found near Fly Creek to Sandy Morden. When they found the body, there was just, I mean, it was more skeletal remains with long brown hair. And so Lindsay said that they believed that it was she was either Hispanic or Indian, not a Northern European. Lindsay is Clark County Detective Lindsay Schultz. So you've worked really hard on this. Yes. Schultz worked with Parabon Nano Labs to come up with a composite using DNA from a tooth. Look how close it is to what Sandy actually looked like. Then Parabon compared her DNA profile to other people in public databases to find likely family members. Well, two years ago, Leslie had tested her DNA and then shared it publicly. About three months ago, her phone rang. You get a phone call from somebody who's, I cold called a individual, says I'm a cold case investigator. And then she starts talking about a family member. Within seconds, she said, you're calling about my cousin Sandy. Do you think about serial killers? Uh, absolutely. I mean, that was when I first met with the police department, that was the first question. Could this be Ted Bundy? Could this be Green River Killer? Could this be, you know, and they said, no, no, we've already looked at all that. After four decades, Leslie is one of the few people left who remembers Sandy. Her parents died 20 years ago, not knowing Sandy had been found a long time ago, not far from home. We don't have a clue. Um, I mean, we really don't have a clue. It would be wonderful if somebody would know something. Dan Tilkin, Coin6 News. And something more, Detective Schultz says Sandy Morden and her father moved a lot, living in different places in Clark County and here in Portland. Anyone with tips is asked to call the Clark County Sheriff's Office. We posted that number on coin.com along with more information about this case.